Greetings people and this episode is all about making the charcoal for the steamers. Um, a subscriber asked so how do I make the charcoal? Well basically I use coconut shell and we can do it inside or outside. Today I'll be demonstrating the outside way and the inside way too. We just need a fire, a really nice fire outside. And let us get into it. We're gonna build a fire and let's make some charcoal for the steam chalice, you know? So one of my favorite things to really start with is having the coconut, you know? The shell inside of this one is a dry coconut or I'll take out the, the, um, the nut from it. You have the shell and it's still in the coconut bone we call it, you know? And I like to use this because it get the fire really started really fast. We just go and pack it. on the grill. We have a coconut shell and we can just load on the coconut shell you know? quick quick time I will just make this go and burn until them ready and we can see them look when they're ready you know How I really get the coconut shell is that this is a coconut, right? And inside it have the nut. And you just chop, get to it, and it looks something like this. This is what it looks like. That is the coconut inside there that you will eat or may drink with. And uh, everything about the coconut is good, you know, because it makes nice fire and it's good fuel and it's very clean if you're going to steam it it's a better choice for fuel for the steamers yeah? and this is what it's gonna become when it's almost ready for your steam chalice you know? So you burn all the coal them right now and you want to make sure you store some the rest that you're not going to use you know just damp it with some water and just make it dry out don't soak it too much you know just leave it make it the heat from the charcoal get the water evaporated and keep your coals you know ready for our next steam roll so yeah this is your charcoal right here you know this is what is our final product until we're ready to use it in the steamer. We're gonna store most of this right now. So like in the night time we would have time to mess around fires and things. We just use our torch lighters and you know spark up ready. And if you travel, you might want to make enough for your travel engagements, you know, not everywhere you go you can light fire outside and if you can light it inside on the stove sometimes you have fire alarm system inside but yeah this is what it look like and I'm just gonna put it in a dry place now and let it sip stay and chill so yeah I just show you um one of the two methods that I'll be exposing you to, which is doing it outside. And if you don't have an outside space, you can do it on a gas stove. And let's do it. 
So we definitely go make sure that we have our shells you know already prepared. We don't want to have shells with coconut in it. Um, it won't do it any good. We gotta make sure so we have the right shells, the ones that are you know, dried and ready. And make sure because this will kind of give off a smoke smell and you don't want that in your house you know and one of the things that whenever you're doing it inside the kitchen you want to make sure that you have you know ventilation for the smoke to move through you want to make sure that by 10-15 minutes the smoke is out of the, the air and yeah those are some tips for you and go light our stove you don't have to turn on the stove, you just want to have it, you know, you just want the, the, the coconut to come in contact with it for you, but you don't want to be having it on a high. If, if, if you're going to steam just to say one session, you're not going to need more than two pieces, depending on the size of your steam chalice. Mine is not big, so sometimes I could, I could go with the one, I can you know, go with the one, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how two is enough for a load. And it's not going to take more than two to three minutes to get everything ready, booming. So this is a, this is a quick tip. Um, whenever you're burning in the shell, right, you want to make sure that the place is well ventilated because the shell gives off a fumes that is a it's a gas. So you want that to leave the place where you burn it inside. And the next thing you want to make sure that you watch the shells. It's not like outside where you can just make it just dirty. You want to make sure you watch watch the um the fire. Make sure it's not too high for your ceiling or if it's getting too smoky you want to control it and make sure yeah and in a two to three minutes the shell I gonna start burning you know it never take long for you to just start doing the thing give thanks for tuning in and like and subscribe and share this with your friends you know those who are new to the steam chalice technique you just Send them the link, you know. And big up, give thanks. See you next time. Pew.